guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and probably yet again another long awaited whip and chat. Um, what's today's date? It's the 27th of February, Thursday, and it is just before 7 a.m. Uh, work wise, I am on, I've just come home from night shift, I have one more night, and then I've got five days off. How about you guys? Where are you at? Working? Lurking? <laughs> or, or just simply diamond painting or something or other? Now, um, I suppose I keep saying I'm coming back, I'm coming back. And yes, I am coming back. Uh, I will say that I saw my doctor. There's no wax on my pen. Not enough wax on my pen. Hang on a sec. Okay, had to go digging for the wax. Um, yeah, so just an update on me. I went to my doctor's and, well, doctor's, doctor, <laughs> one doctor, and he uh, actually increased my medication. So, yes, I was coming good, uh, but not good enough and still needing a bit more assistance. And I will say this to you guys. Um, that understand depression and anxiety and all of that. Um, you, know, you start feeling a little bit better and you think, yep, that's it, I, I'm okay. And then you go in and see your doctor and the doctor turns around and says, no, you still need a little bit of help. Um, I can tell you one thing, a um, little bit of help's making a difference. I will say that I'm about to go on five days off <coughs> and Nathan and I with, a other, with some other people are going camping again. Um, camping, you know, it gets me out of, the, out of the house but it also, hang on a sec, um, takes me out of my environment and it does help with the depression now I will say you know <laughs> I go go away and you know I miss when I go away camping I miss doing sitting and being able to chill out with my crafts but um, yeah actually getting out of the house going and doing stuff um, does help depression um, go quicker or, you know, it just helps it along. Uh, and, uh, you yeah, being active does help you when you suffer depression. So, um, I haven't been able to, I haven't been sitting and diamond painting as much as I used to. Uh, and therefore, I haven't been recording. But, um, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I think everybody understands what it's like. Um, you know, I haven't been, as I said, I haven't been recording, but I have, I've done some diamond painting, well, I suppose, yeah, I've done a fair amount of diamond painting, but I've just been there and enjoying doing it. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy doing it with and chats and, and sharing things with you guys, um, but there's no pressure when a diamond paint, um, Oh, there's no real pressure anyway but when I diamond paint without the cameras on it's um, I suppose the, it's the editing where I sit down and edit afterwards you know I, I've it's the editing of putting stuff together I don't cut stuff out I do you know I don't cut anything out of my videos but what I do do is I add stuff in as you know like my Egypt trip um, like I did for South Africa trip you know I, I try and add more in and then I try and change my intro and my um, outgoing screens just for variety um, so you know, by not recording I'm not putting that pressure on myself of trying to get um, get this editing done I recorded uh, Egypt just a couple more days on my Egypt trip um, and that one is yet to be edited because I'll go through my photos and my photos so you can enjoy 
some of the things that I saw. Um, but yeah, so slowly coming good though. Um, yeah, I had my last yum box arrived yesterday. Uh, I haven't unboxed it. I haven't done my taste testing. Uh, the box is from February. Uh, sorry, not from February. Well, it is a February box. We're only just still in February. Um, but it's from France, so that's going to be interesting. And I dare say there's going to be lots of uh, dark chocolate. <laughs> Excuse me, hang a sec. So, yeah, there's, um, there's another recording that normally the day it arrives I do a recording. But yeah, I just didn't do it. Needed to sleep for work. Um, I'm learning to prioritise my sleep over everything else. Um, so yeah. Uh, so how are you guys going? I mean, I don't know what to say now. I suppose work's been interesting. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. We've had some interesting events of train drivers not going where they're meant to go or going further than they're meant to go, um, which is uh, causing some major concerns. Um, you know, I had some, I had a couple more events only three, two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Those events yet again they set me back in the depression because I get I, I think the worst you know if, if this happened but what could have you, know, you see what happened and nobody was injured but the mind runs and goes well this could have happened this could have happened and yeah it doesn't help with depression but we'll get there um so yeah with the camping I will uh, take some video footage um, of where we're going. I think we're going what they call the Valley of the Giants, uh, which is our massive trees that we have in the southwest. Uh, the guys will be beach fishing, I do believe. Excuse me while I sip my coffee. Yep, so the guys, I, do, I think they're taking fishing rods and going beach fishing um, so yeah so yesterday so Tuesday night Nathan and I went shopping yesterday morning so Wednesday morning um, before I went to bed to get ready for night shift you know I vacuum sealed meat and got everything together uh, piled up everything that we need to have <coughs> piled into the um, in the four wheel drive for camping uh, but yes yeah, three nights we'll be in a swag I'll uh, I'll pop pictures in when I do a next one we can chat and talk about I'll pop pictures in of the campsite the vehicles and all of that so you can see what it's like when we set up uh, we are pretty cozy when we set up I've got um we've got a shower a hot water system that's actually attached to the vehicle now. Nathan put that on, attached it to the vehicle. Um, but this is all, yeah, to get me out of the house and also in preparation for our big trip that we're going to be doing um, in the uh, northwest of uh, Western Australia, uh, which will be a journey that I will share with you guys. <coughs> Um, there will be a no frills uh, sharing because I don't think I'll be taking anything. Um, I will be having to just record on uh, my phone and just uploading straight to YouTube there. Um, I know a lot of people do their YouTube on their phone, but I, um, I've i never done it. I record little bits to add to it, but never uploaded via YouTube but on the phone. Whoops. Hello, buddy. He's huffing. Something's upset, Bo. <sighs> so, yes. 
So yeah, um, we're going Pemberton. I think uh, we'll probably go Walpole. Uh, yeah, a few other places places down there. Uh, Windy Harbour. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here we go, I'm getting lost in my diamond painting, which is really, I mean, why we do it is to, well, why I do it is to chill out, relax. Hey, Bo, bye-bye. Nope, he's back off to the front of the house. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, head off, so I'll finish work tomorrow morning. And Nathan's instructions are, you get home from work, you have a shower, you go to bed for three hours and shut the bedroom door so that I don't disturb you. <laughs> now, there's a very valued, valuable reason for why he says that to me. <laughs> um, if I don't, if we go camping and I haven't had the sleep after night shift, because that's the way we tend to do it. You know, I come straight off night shift um, I'll have a sleep and then we go camp. We head off camping. Um, yeah, when we go camping and I haven't had a sleep, I get very grouchy. <laughs> very, very, very grouchy about um, things. <laughs> Little things. And until I've uh, had a sleep, um, yeah, there's, yeah, I'm not, not, it's not nice, I'm not nice to be around when I'm really tired and camping. And when we go, when we do go camping and I haven't had a sleep before we go, um, basically the swag's rolled out, all the tents set up, and, um, I'm, I'm sent to bed for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> to keep out of the way and stop being in such a bad mood. Uh, it's so funny. Uh, I suppose um, it's still summer here. Although at the moment we're getting some major summer 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 storms rolling through. Um, massive lightning strikes going on at the moment. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. We had. Yeah, we just had some heavy downpours. I the rain just lasted for six minutes, um, but trees have been uprooted, and yeah, millions of dollars of um, insurance claims are going to happen just with the storm that happened yesterday. Not yesterday. That happened Tuesday, and then we've got another storm front coming through right now, and there's a lot of lightning around. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, but yeah so it's still summer uh, just <laughs> although summer does, does last a little bit longer than normal at the moment which is a good thing but yeah we're going southwest of western australia uh, which is it's going to be cooler um and I reckon we'll get some rain while we're down there, but we'll see. If there's rain, we just end up four-wheel driving in muddy tracks, not dry tracks. And uh, it's lots of fun deliberately riding through puddles. Okay. Can't really see that properly, can you? I've just done all one colour, just in checkerboard. Um... So yeah, uh, what else is there? There's not much else happening. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty, it's, it's pretty, I've been doing, haven't done that much, you know, it's been work, done a, yeah, oh, yeah, with work. I was doing extra shifts, I was doing additional shifts, um, but I've decided that it's it's just not worth it. It was starting to really wear me out. Um, yeah, it was making things a bit hard. 
and instead of doing three nights I'd be doing four nights and I'd only get a couple of days to recover from that uh, so yeah I've been ta I got myself taken off the list for additional shifts Which Nathan's happy about. <laughs> yep. Um, he, it's funny. His only issue with me doing night shift is he can't doesn't know what to have for dinner. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't cook dinner every night. He he cooks as well. Uh, but the issue is is he just doesn't like cooking dinner for one person, and he can't decide what to have. Um, yeah, so it's quite quite interesting. It's like when I was doing additional shifts, you know, I'd message him during the day saying, I'm going to do an extra night shift. And his response is, well, what am I going to do for dinner? <laughs> um, there's been quite a few, quite a few days where I've come back from night shift to in the morning. There's a resemblance of takeaway bag on the bench. Yeah, he's, he's had Hungry Jacks all so Hungry Jacks here in Australia is your is the US is is um, Burger King, I think it is. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. There's been quite a few times where he's got Hungry Jacks or Maccas or something like that, because he can't be bothered cooking just for one person. <sighs> so yeah, I suppose everything at the moment is just um, for for me is just thinking about getting uh, everything ready for camping. Uh, I was <laughs> well, I still am. I'm supposed to be. I should have done it now instead of sitting and doing this whip and chat. But I've just got a record whip and chat. Um, but I've got to get everything together. So yesterday I was vacuum sealing meat, um, and making sure that the food was packed up, and making trying to make sure that nothing's forgotten. And so today, being Thursday, what I've got to do is go through what I've put us put out to be packed, and make definitely make sure there's nothing forgotten. Uh, because what will happen is uh, tonight, while I'm on night shift, Nathan will load out the vehicle, he'll load the fridge, um, put everything that's needed in, in the camp, in the in the ute, and um, so that it's set up and good to go in the morning so that when I get home and I've had a sleep, uh, we'll go to leave as soon as I, well not as soon as I wake up, after I wake up, had a shower and had a coffee, we'll, we'd be on our way. I think we're leaving about midday and it's going to be our first first drive will be about four and a half hours um, we do have I will pop it down here if you're interested in it um, doing a um, we've got a GPS tracker that we can put to the website where we, we can get to um, it's more an EPIRB, not a, a, a GPS tracker. Uh, but we we have a we were able to create a link, and then when um, people actually have this link, they can actually see where we are, where we travel. Um, so it's pretty cool. We've only got I got it for Nathan for his birthday the other day. Uh, we've tried it out. We've done a test run. Um, I've done a test run, so yeah, that's it, it's working really well. Uh, it will send a location every five minutes if we are moving. If we're not moving, um, it won't continue to send. Um, yeah, so that's going to be cool. And I will pop the link down below if you're interested in following it. Just as um, an idea on what it's like for distance to travel in Australia, 
I mean, the southwest, there's a lot of small towns that you go through, and they're absolutely beautiful, beautiful area. Um, but yeah, you know, I do like to share that. And I will be, when I, when we go away, we'll be creating a link for that trip as well when we go away. Um, but yeah, fine tuning it. Uh, it's being an EPIRB, it's one where uh, we can send customized messages um, to whoever we set that's decided that we'll get the messages. But there is also the one magic button there, which is the SOS button, that if you press it, it will um, mean that search and rescue are deployed to your location. Someone comes out in a chopper to your location to rescue you. So, um, you know, it's a, an extreme case of emergency, but when you're in the, you know, like we'll, we'll be traveling into the outback when we go away for a big trip. Uh, and that EPIRB will, you know, if something happens desperately, we need, um, need help, that will, um, pinpoint our location or send a signal out to the uh, rescues and um, give us out there our exact location. Uh, you hear of people that they run out of, well, not that we're expecting to, but they, well, they run out of fuel out in the bush and they start, walk, let, they leave their vehicle and walk thinking that they're doing the right thing and um, end up getting lost and dehydrated and yeah, there's, yeah it's not good. Uh, so yeah, being able to have an EPIRB which tracks you and f can call that assistance is, is invaluable. So yeah, that will be there and I'll produce, put the link down below for our little trip that we're doing. Um, I have titled it Pemberton um, because we will be going through Pemberton. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that side of it interesting photos to come back with uh, I will be taking my not just my phone but I will take my big camera and uh, I'll get video footage from driving like I did when I, we did our other camping trip <laughs> let's hope that what we what happened on that camping trip doesn't happen again this time although I think Nathan will be on the watch out for the bees um what else what else what else is going on oh cassie <laughs> i got notified by die moon shop um so cassie has uh, brought a couple of uh, my customs via that are with die moon shop and uh, yeah i have been sent um my, I've been sent uh, stuff in relation to um, those because I've been told I've got commission. Um, yeah, so that's come through to me uh, yesterday. Um, so I think I'll keep that. That I think that goes. I think instead of receiving commission, I'm actually getting it as um, gift vouchers, gift cards, so that when I purchase from Diamond Shop, um, I'm not actually having to spend as much. Uh, which is fantastic for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's that side of it. There's yeah, so you know the, my customs. Um, you know, if if you purchase one of the customs for Diamond Shop, you know I get credit, and then that means that I'm not paying as much for my own diamond paintings. Um, it will also mean. I'm I'm looking at getting some more customs done, but that's more I'll be getting them of um, well I've got a picture I took of the moon when I went camping last, and I've also got some pictures of Egypt that I'd like to turn into customs. Um, and Die Moon Shop do such a fantastic job; it's brilliant. Okay. Um, so there, that's about it. Um, mm, I don't think there's much more. I'll tell you what, I whip and chat for half an hour. Is this one just a short one? Um, 
I did some resin work uh, in my oh there there we go. I did some resin work <laughs> um, in my craft room, uh, and I for those of you that have heard my my cat my old computer when it takes off like an airplane, um, I used that to record in there. Um, because I, I want to get set up in the craft room where I do all the recording uh, in there. Um, but the recording sound was so bad that, uh, yeah, that's that recording didn't work. I just I listened to it and went, yeah, no, that's I can't do that one. So I'll have to try and redo what I did. Um, but out here on this desk. Oh, part of me. Um, hmm. So, I haven't been watching much in the way of YouTube. Um, what I will say is, oh, I've been watching. <laughs> I've been watching Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Stan quite a bit. Um, <laughs> now. I don't know how many of you guys have watched the Vampire Diaries. Um, I haven't been watching the Vampire Diaries. Nathan has gotten right into the Vampire Diaries. And it's really, really, really funny. Because he's getting really wrapped up in, in this TV series. Um, he's watched... Hang on while I find my next colour. He's watched... Um, I think five seasons, four or five seasons in the last two months of the Vampire Diaries, uh, which, yeah, <laughs> uh, because Netflix is on the TV in the living area, which is where I am, <laughs> um, I'm actually having to deal with watching it. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but yeah, it's really interesting to... Uh, hear him talk about and, and he talks to the TV and it's like really really weird really funny uh, yeah um, actually I might put some of the um, just going to put some of the uh, electric diamonds down to these places, the little stars and that, they're in the sky. This, this picture is just coming up absolutely gorgeous. The fees. Oops. That one's upside down, you can't pick up at one of these when they're upside down. Yeah, so, yeah, he's been watching The Vampire Diaries. Um, and I've been watching these other shows. Of, um, oh, Jack Ryan on Amazon Prime. I've been watching that. And it is absolutely awesome. Really, really enjoying that. Okay. And doing the um, outline of the moon with... Um, sparklers as well just it's just adding that extra little bit it's looking really good okay so comments from you guys if, if you've gotten this far into the video um, do you go camping do you go glamping um, yeah or if you know that's just something that we do that gets me out of the house or gets Nathan out of the house as well um, but yeah do you guys do any camping uh, if so what type do you do you know do yeah <clears throat> um, now I am very close to my thousand subscriber mark which is pretty cool um, <laughs> uh, for those of you that, um, oh, that's upside down. 
uh, Rachel Ray's channel. Um, she's, you know, I, I chuckle because, like, I'm not, I, I, yeah, oops, now put that in the wrong one. Um, so I actually started my channel out before Rachel Ray, so, um, yeah, it's quite interesting to see, um, you know, the difference in the channel. Uh, I'm not one for doing a lot of social media. For you guys that are on my Facebook group, uh, even that I struggle to keep up to date with, uh, you know, adding stuff. <coughs> um, but yeah, I do, do add stuff to there every now and then when I remember. Um, but yeah, so, but anyway, I'm nearly at the thousand subscriber mark. Um, and I will say I watched Stitcherista. I watched Danielle um, with her video where she was scammed. I tell you what, it's it's a horrible thing to see and hear about um, when people scam for competitions. You know, for the for the amount of people that actually contacted her saying they were one of the four people saying, you know, this is the one I want, rah, rah. Um, it's pretty horrible to think people do that. But the thing is, when you actually put on your channel, you know, a giveaway or a competition or winners, um, you find that there's a lot of people will actually look at uh, when they do a, a search in YouTube they'll go looking for competitions or they'll go looking for winners um, and they'll filter it down to you know something in the last is it a day or something in the last week so then they can filter in and select uh, find competitions that have done been done, made done recently and um, yeah it's no way to actually verify a person is who they are uh, you know when it comes to that so uh, I think even for me for my 500 subscriber giveaway my giveaway was actually in one of my whipping chats where I did the competition for it and I will say with that I actually had people emailing me directly as opposed to drawing attention to it being a competition um, because that was how I recognised um, people that were subscribed to my channel um, as being, you know, definitely subscribed, truly subscribed to my channel. They just hadn't found the competition um, via a search. Uh, so, uh, yeah, for when I reach a 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway. <coughs> What I will do is the I don't I don't know how I'm going to do the giveaway because I don't want to. I suppose I could I, I can do it by YouTube, but there won't be a title in in there saying giveaway. So it's just something that you'll have to keep an eye on. Um, for when I do it, what I am looking at is uh, custom. From Die Moon Shop. Um, I suppose could be the choice of any of the three that I've got there now, or even the possibility of the the moon or the some of my Egypt ones possibly uh, that I'll get done could be um, could be a prize. Uh, and once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will actually try and draw up a schedule of stuff I'll do so that I produce more regularly. But I will probably only look at putting out two videos a week. Um, yeah, oh, <laughs> you know that that's that's what I'd like to do two, maybe three a week. Um, not 
I mean, before I was before I, I came to a grinding halt, I was putting out quite a lot of videos. Um, but yeah, so I've got to start scheduling them in. And the other is, um, I actually don't, I don't like calling you guys subscribers. Um, because I hear people that, that have channels going, my subscribers, my subscribers. And um, I don't know, I, I watch Nerdy Crafter. And she doesn't call her subscribers subscribers because um, she get calls everybody grains, like as in grains of salt. You watch her channel, you 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 see she's absolutely brilliant. Um, but um, I'd rather call you something other than my subscribers because my subscribers sound like I I knew, and I'm one of these people that I, I'm uncomfortable in that way I was looking at calling you guys gems or um, you know because well I'm not going to call you diamonds but I'll call you probably I'm looking at saying calling you guys gems so it's not my subscribers it's all the jet or all, all my gems or all the gems that are subscribed or something like that um, just what do you think would you like to be like instead of me calling you guys subscribers i'll call you gems because you know the title my name title you know diamond in the rough isn't just because of diamond painting uh, diamond in the rough is basically um how do you put it rough on the outside but you know the, basically good or, or, or whatever on the inside so you, you know you can't judge a book by its cover type thing um, but yeah so that's where um, I was thinking you know call your gems what do you think would you like to be called gems um, you know or would you would would you like me to call you guys as subscribers call you guys diamonds um, or roughies <laughs> No, I can't call you roughies. <laughs> um, but yeah, I suppose, yeah, guys, if you've got any suggestions, what, instead of calling you my subscribers, which is what I hear everybody you say, um, I'd rather give you guys a name. And I think Gems is about the best one because you're all precious. Aren't you? Everybody that is subscribed to my channel is precious to me. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave that one down there in the comments. Drop it down in the comments and um, let me know what you think it'd be good to um, call, that I call you guys. And when I've got a few different ones, maybe I'll do a, a whip and chat and put a poll out to say, give you a choice, give everyone a voting choice on what what I refer to you guys as um, yeah because I reckon you know uh, yeah I don't know it's just when um, I hear youtubers say you know my subscribers and it just it, it's I'm not not selfish but it, it's yeah, I don't know it just I don't know. Uh, hopefully, you're understanding what what I'm saying. It's just um, for me, um, subscribers is too much of a general. I suppose I don't know. Hopefully, you're understanding what I'm meaning, and this is where I'm I'm just blabbering on about it. But yeah, um, yeah. Down in the comments below, do you want? Would you like to be called gems, diamonds, uh, stars? Or give me some ideas, give me some names, and I'll run a poll. And then, with that poll, there we go. What I might do is you guys come up with some names that I can call you. Uh, and then I'll run a poll. And then what I'll do, I'll use this video as the decider. So what I'll do is 
the winning here's me thinking off the cuff okay the 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 name that everybody that, that gets decided that I'll call call, call you guys um, we'll do the I'll do a poll and then for everyone that got that chose that name um, I will I'm thinking I might use that one use that name as um, you know, so, so if I've got a couple of suggestions and I've got five suggestions of one and that one ends up winning well out of the people that put it down the comment down in my down below in this video um, I'll select from them to be um, the winner of my th my thousand giveaway um, because that then really does show that it will be someone that does um, does watch my channel. Um, yeah, so yeah, there we go. If you put down a comment below about what I should call you guys, gems, diamonds, stars, um, yeah, um, put it down in the comment below. When I get uh, do another whip and chat, when I've done uh, when I reach a thousand, uh, I'll do a whip and chat and I'll put the poll in so that then people can choose and vote for the name of everybody. And then from there, uh, once that poll's closed, I will then go and select in the video where people gave a name, um, I will actually give them um, I'll draw their names out to see who wins, um, I suppose, a custom from Diamond Shop. Hi, so hopefully that was self-explanatory. If not, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, just, uh, just thinking that's one way to do it. Um, get input from you guys because I, I value you guys so much. Um, yeah, a small channel. I'm growing slowly, slowly. Um, and, you know, for the fact that I've slowed down in this last month, well, no, two months it would be, um, you know, and you're still watching my channel. Uh, I'm still gaining subscribers. Um, you know, that's just something that I find absolutely brilliant. And... Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, hang on, I've just about finished the case, I think that's all the case, yep, <coughs> oh, on to the sixes, I mean, if I actually turn that light off, Okay, so you can actually see where the electric diamonds are here. I've still got to put the sixes in, and then I put in the um, blue in there. So I might I do the sixes where I can find the sixes. Uh, 160. Yep. Uh, There's a couple of C's that I want to do there. Just adding the um, sparkless electric diamonds in to there and there. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think that's a cool way to do it. I reckon that's a really cool way to do it. And then, whoop, there's a nine in there too. Hang on. What I'm going to do is just one of the blue ones in there, just slightly different. Um, so yeah, that's I think that's 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 going to be a cool way to do it. And then um, when the poll's done, um, that's when I'll start calling you guys by something other than subscribers because. 
You mean, you know, you guys mean a lot to me, a real lot to me. Um, you know, you watch, you, you've seen my channel slowly change and evolve and I bring different things in and then they go. I mean, the uh, Yum Box, as I said, I've got one more box to do, which is the February box, which is from France. Um, and I know I'm going to torture myself with, with dark chocolate. There's going to have to be dark chocolate in there. It's just, it's a given. Um, but yeah, that's this will be the, the last of the Yum Yum boxes. They were cool to do. Um, but yeah, I don't think, yeah, I just can't, can't eat any more of, uh, go through that again. Oh, yeah we'll give it a go give it a go and see how it went and then I found how it went um, here you get to see me try and pronounce some French which will be really really funny um, what else okay I'm nearly done on the sixes I suppose I better finish up here. I'll say that's 45 minutes. I think that's long enough um, of a whip and chat. But I'll finish up here. Um, I'll put some of the um, blues in and then finish. So you can see the. the is it going to focus on them? having a hard time focusing on there's too much glitter too much glitter they're pretty uh, it's just a scattering of these around as always these are just where you with Dye Moon Shop when they do something with special drills they don't tell you exactly where to place them um, because but if they said place them on this card this symbol or that symbol it's more like um, everybody's will be exactly the same whereas where they say this is the suggestion um, this is yeah this is basically a suggestion of where we recommend you to put them um, but yeah, it means that you know there's no two diamond paintings that are the same picture that will end up looking exactly the same because they are the, the special drills are um, in totally different places. So, oops, got one. Just do a couple more, and then I'll wah -ha, flung that one. Uh, and then you'll be able to see the blue in there, which is absolutely beautiful, pretty little. Just a little sparkle of blue without going overboard. You know, I'm able to put a lot of the a lot of the more electric diamonds into this picture because um, I've had leftover electric diamonds from my other diamond paintings from Die Moon Shop. So uh, I've been able to look at it and go, well, I can put a lot more into this one and give it a lot more sparkle. Um, but yeah, so, and yet again, I'm getting there with the end of my video going, talking and talking and talking, I'm going, I'm ending the video, but then I don't end up ending the video. Ah, oh, gosh. But that's what happens, you get distracted shiny things we all get sh get distracted by shiny 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 things uh, okay okay so i'll just stop there and i will show you what it looks like pop that away so that i don't spill it 
and so you can see oh so these are here uh, the sparkly blue sapphire ones there is some of the normal dark ones but you can just tell the difference with the the blue sparklies um, I mean you come down and look here and you can really see it but yeah absolutely gorgeous so guys I will leave it there I will say, say thank you for watching um, close to the thousand mark which is fantastic um, but yeah don't forget pop your comments down below give some suggestions as to what I can name you call you guys instead of just subscribers because that's yeah I, I, I would rather call you guys something more than just simple subscribers because you're not simple subscribers you're special to me and um, yep leave me a comment give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs let's see if I can do that give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, doesn't matter either way um, I suppose <laughs> uh, and yeah if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, hit the subscribe button and become one of the uh, one of my well I won't say subscribers one of my gems one of my stars one of my pearls maybe a ruby I don't know um, yeah and then once you've hit the subscribe button then you'll be able to hit the bell and be notified when I do uploads and if you actually do put down a suggestion for a name I will say if you hit the bell you'll get notified when the next one um, uh, when I do the video with the poll so guys I will say again thank you for watching and and bearing with me for taking time um, to, to do to do other stuff and just to get myself better and I will talk to you another time and uh, yeah bye for now